formula or this video is for the quadratic formula. So some problems we cannot solve by factoring. So we can use the quadratic formula in this situation. So here's my equation up here, and we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. And so you need to make sure that you know your a, b, and c value. So the a value is 1. The c or the b would be a negative 6, and the c would be a positive 4. And then I plug all these pieces into this quadratic formula. So it starts out with negative b, so that would be a negative, negative 6 or a positive 6. And then b squared would be negative 6 squared. And then a would be 1, and c would be 4, and then a would be 1. And so you can type this all into your calculator. And so um, <clears throat> I have always done just what's underneath the radical first. So negative 6 squared. Oh, let's square root it. Negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. And so the other way that you can do this is to take the radical off and do it without it. So you're not dealing with a bunch of decimals. So you see I get a 20 there. So that would give me, so again, a negative negative 6 is a positive 6, plus or minus the square root of 20 divided by 2. And you can simplify it down from there. There's several different ways that you can do that. Um, one way is to simplify your radical, which would be the square root of 5 times the square root of 4 divided by 2, and the square root of 4 would give you a 2. So those would cancel, and then 6 divided by 2 would give you a 3. Or you can just type this in. Let's do it this way. 6 plus the square root of 20, and then divide by 2. And so when we add it, we would get 5.24. And then you do the same thing again, and you can subtract it, and we get uh, 0 0.76. So you're going to have two answers since this is a plus or a minus. All right, so same thing here. Here's our equation, x squared plus 10x minus 2 equals 0. So a negative b would be a 10. b is a 10, so 1, 10, negative 2. a is a 1, c is a, c is a negative 2, and then a is a 1. And so again, you can do what's inside or under that radical first. And so we've got here negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 108 divided by 2. And then you can work that twice. Once with a plus. So this one is 0 0.20 if I round. And then the second time you can go back and do it and subtract. And you get a negative 10.20. So on this one, what we've got to do is we've got to move the 20. So a is 1, b is negative 8, c is negative 20. So here I've got a negative, negative 8, negative 8 squared, minus 4, a, and c, and then a is a 1. So negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 20 gives me a square root of 144. 
So a negative negative 8 would be a positive 8. And so the square root of 144 is 12. So now you have 8 plus or minus 12 divided by 2. So 8 plus 12 divided by 2, and then 8 minus 12 divided by 2. So you would get 10 or a negative 2. All right, so here's my next one. So my A is 1, B is 6, C is 10. And so 6 squared, A, C. So I have 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. So I have negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 4. And if you square root a negative number, you're going to start getting into your imaginary numbers. And so sometimes the best you can do um, or the simplest way you can leave them is um, in this form right here. And then our last one. So we've got a lot of moving to do here. So I'm going to subtract the x squared from both sides, add the 2x to both sides, and then subtract a 15 from both sides. So 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared. 7x plus 2x is a 9x. And then minus 15, that should be 2x squared. So my a value is a 2, b value is a 9, c value is a negative 15. So here I've got a negative 9 plus 9 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 15. So 9 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 15 gives me the square root of 201. So I have a negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 201 divided by 4. And then you can just work on a piece at a time. So negative 9 plus the square root of 201 divided by 4. And that gives me 1.29. And then I go back in and do the exact same thing, except this time I subtract and I get negative 5. 0.79. So that's it for this video.